Hello everyone. Um, just thought I'd go through uh, the little pile that's been standing on top of one of my record shelves for quite some time. Assorted uh, finds, mostly cheap ones, but yeah. Thought I'd just go through this so I can show it. It's been standing there for a while, most of these actually. But yeah, just quickly showing some finds. And most of them are really old finds, but so I can file them away in the shelves and show more new finds uh, and collections. So uh, I have shown recent finds and stuff uh, a lot of times, you guys know that, but for some reason these have been left out. So. Now you know <laughs> the reason. This one is a quite new find. Found it maybe like a month ago or something like that. Of course, classical vinyl here, a Vivaldi, Le Quatre Saisons. This was too gorgeous to pass up, and I like my classical music once in a while. Uh, this has a textured cover, kind of like wallpaper. It's a French pressing. This was just one box, so that's why I bought it. It has also this little, little, little book here in French. Really nice, and the pressing is beautiful. And of course, if I can show the record itself, if I can get it out here, it's I thought that was cool. His master's, his master's voice, but in French. So that's why I bought it. And also the beautiful textured cover. So that was a nice find when it comes to classical music. Okay, another thrift store find. Korean dream, fantasy. Thought it might be some funk and it's pretty decent. A bit poppy, but uh, funk here. So pretty decent soul funk, I'd say. I would like it a bit more funky, but yeah. By the way, playing in the background is of course PFM, Photos of Ghost, Italian prog record. Carcass, this is just a normal black version, but this is not a cheap find. Um, it is of course the reissue on Earache. This was the only early carcass I didn't have on vinyl, so got this one. I ordered it when it was supposed to be released, but this, this record uh, store didn't get it in until before Christmas sometimes, so that's why I haven't shown it. Really nice. I like this album a lot. I love it actually. My favorites are the early Carcass records, of course. But uh, this one is great. I have had it on CD and also got the tape from Shad, so great to kind of complete the early Carcass records with this one. Really nice. Nothing special about that release when it's not on any type of special color. Uh, this was actually a VCLT from Lars. This is a children's record, Rasmus Polufen, which is, a, of course, a story by Astrid Lindgren. It's the original songs in this. It's in great shape. On Philips label there, lots of photos from film. In Sweden, this is a classical TV show. Nice to my children's collection. This one I had playing in the background in one of my videos. Some people commented and said it was very soothing music, has a great gatefold. Very cheap find, I found a buck for this 2LP. Of course, cheesy cover there, but um, it's actually from 1990, so that's kind of weird. It has, of course, lots of Jean Michel Yar. Vangelis on this one. So that's why I bought it. And some Brian Eno as well. Nice to my synthesizer collection there. Synthesizer. 
this was also uh, just a sheep sheep find uh, took a chance on this that is in on the Dunhill ABC label Pratt McLan hoping for a bit of psychedelic tunes not very much so but still I'm gonna keep it looked at the uh, song titles here and saw that it had a song uh, that was um, what was it yeah here I am song of the Antichrist <laughs> thought that was cool and that was pretty decent so that's why I bought it it's from 74 but yeah cheap cheap fine don't know if I've shown this before but this is a classical music of course Berlioz Symphony Fantastic London Symphony Orchestra just love that cover so when I find special classical music with cool covers I buy it looking for more Wagner at the moment moment but this is a of course uh, original find I have to say it's a from the Viking uh, Viking period here so it could be from Sweden or Denmark or Norway or any Scandinavian countries here so really loved this cover and it's a great 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 album great I didn't have anything by Berlioz and I um, didn't know much about his music so it's really great to have this one beautiful gorgeous cover don't you think really fitting with the music good find this is just a cheap soul compilation here it has a few decent tracks here really like the pictures of the album here you can see for yourself the Hughes Corporation new birth the main ingredient the night lighters and so on so it has a few decent tracks so it's a keeper in my funk soul collection anyway so yeah couldn't pass that up when it's so cheap this is one um, love unlimited um, kind of cheesy soul music with three little ladies who I believe backed up very white <laughs> which I don't like very much but yeah, it was a cheap find. This one has a really nice gatefold, but I don't have time to open up all the records. But yeah, still, I I will keep this one when I'm feeling cheesy and, uh, you know, romantic. Won't buy more by them I th with them, I think. But yeah, this is a keeper. Another one I bought way back sometime during summer or spring. Uh, at a flea market in a town nearby just bought it because of the cover here uh, Mary McCreary Butterflies in Heaven cool looking cover with her on there really like that picture there as well uh, this is from 73 uh, hoped for some soul funk a uh, lot of soul on this one but quite liked it actually so this is also a keeper in my collection don't have much with female artists actually so really like this one okay at the same time i found this one this is a really good soul funk album the crusaders those southern knights really enjoyed this one MCA, I believe this is later 70s, 76, yes, still really good. First one for me with the Crusaders. Really special cover there, but yeah, a keeper. So, on to the next pile of records. This, the real thing, it's a really nice funk, so funk album. I really like this one. Definitely a keeper on the Philips label there. Yeah, yes. Looking for afros when I dig, of course. This was released in... Um, 
there's no year at the back here but it's the early 70s so it's quite early early release really nice bit worn cover you can see there but it's playable and it was very cheap so this one is not a cheap find of course music and vinyl reissue of damnation with opeth uh, of course 180 um, gram says here on the label limited edition has the crystal clear vinyl but this is not that one it's the black one i missed out on the the clear ones because i bought it so damn late but still happy to have this one really nice we'll go into my opus collection of course here where i have lots of records where i only keep my opus records Really nice to have this one. Sounds great. This one I bought way long ago. Uh, Jimi Hendrix Experience Music and Vinyl also here. This is the Mono Edition. Didn't have a copy of the US pressing with this yellow uh, cover at all. I only have the UK one. I uh, need an update uh, on that one. Upgrade copy as well because it plays really not so good since it's so worn. But of course, I love Jimi Hendrix. I have a little collection with his stuff only. So really nice to have this one. Beautiful. Of course, different back cover as well. Really nice. Another... You can see main ingredient was on that Soul compilation. This is uh, an album of theirs rolling down a mountainside. Not really great, but it's okay. But not my fa not one of my favorite funk soul records. Um, but yeah, it plays good and uh, it's okay. So uh, it's a keeper for me. It was only a buck or under that. So okay. Also, many months ago, I found uh, Kate Bush, Lionheart. Only have, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, one other album I got for free from uh, a friend uh, with her. So I thought, why not take this one? Yeah, the, the cover has this sticker and all of that. But it was a buck, so I bought this one. People are telling me to get into her stuff and I've heard it but it takes some time for me to really appreciate and understand her music but yeah at least got two albums now more classical music I got this for free this is a, a German it's on Deutsche Grammophon label there the yellow label and this is <laughs> yeah romantic classical music uh, threw this on once um thought I might destroy it, use it for something else, but threw this on and Veronica I seemed uh, Veronica and I seemed to like it that evening, so kept it. Yeah, something for a romantic evenings. More classical, great cover. Uh this is one for the cover uh cover here. Uh Bach, of course. more Bach. I have a couple of Bach and Mozart, of course. Really like that ceiling here. Don't buy much classical. It may seem so now that I've shown those, but yeah. Okay, Jimmy McGriff, uh, Tail Gunner. Man, this is a really, really old find of mine. I don't know if I've shown it before, but it needs to be shown again, of course. Uh, now I have more Jimmy McGriff. I've got uh, Electric Funk and one more, of course. This is a later Jimmy McGriff uh, record, so it's not as much jazz. A little bit more funk on the... Um, uh, a bit close to disco, how to say. On the verge to disco, but still great. Uh, as I said, not much jazz left but he's still great a, a really fun record this is what i put on when i want to get in a really good mood because it always cheers me up and had no idea what 
this was or who Jim McGriff was when I bought this one. Thought what a cool spacey cover and open up the gatefold and saw a, a, a man with a fro so I bought it. <laughs> really like this one. Uh, Tail Gunner and Bullfrog, man that's cool. This is from uh, 77 so it's quite late. The other material I have is um, way earlier. But yeah, this was my first Jim McGriff. And for a buck, this one, in great shape, place like mint. Yeah, thank you. And the last ones here, exception. I got a couple of ones from the near, but this I bought way back before. Of course, they are uh, Dutch. Uh, very well-known uh, fusion prog uh, classical band, or how to say, they make lots of covers of well-known songs most of the time. Yeah, really like this stuff, very easy to listen to, but you find it very cheap and very easy and uh, good beginning if you're into the kind of prog fusion and want a bit of classical music in it as well. Very well known, of course. Cheap find. <laughs> this I bought at a thrift store which never has anything. I think I have bought maybe three things there this last couple of years and this is one of them, of course. Uh, I think that Justin, in fact, uh, sent a copy of this to Brett because he loves cats like myself but I bought this more than a year ago actually of course uh, the first side TC Elliot Practical Cats read by Robert Dumat and the other side Shakespeare 20 Sonnets read by Dame Edith Ewans I bought this because of the cat cover of course cheap find <laughs> never seen it before uh, only seen the copy that Brett has now. Really nice, of course. I have a cat who looks like that, but is much bigger. Tabby cat. <laughs> really nice. I have a listen to this, but this is one for the for the cover. Would look great framed. The last one, which is not a cheap find, which is a really good one. I've got the other dub plate uh, single as well, of course. Uh, remixes here, dub mixes of Om uh, from uh, Advatic Songs. Really nice. Here is the label here, two dub plates. Really enjoy these ones. So really, really happy to have these. Um, both of these now. I bought this a long time ago, but time to show it and play it more and put it in the shelf. So, really happy I made this video. Now you've seen what's been standing on top of my shelves up there next to the clock. Uh, I have a couple of uh, Italian reissues up there, which I've had for quite some time. And I will show that another time and maybe show my Italian Pro collection, which is not very big, but still good. Take care, everyone. Bye.